Hello folks, so last time we created a ball that bounces around the, the whole screen, as you can see. Today we're going to make a paddle. So in order to make a paddle, we need to repeat the same procedure. And that is, copy these variables, but with paddle x, paddle y. So let's do it. Paddle w h and and since it's not moving horizontally, it's just moving vertically. We only need one speed, so paddle s. Okay. Of course, you can name the variables anything you want. I'll initialize them here. Paddle x. Um, so I want this to be on the left side of the screen. So I'm going to make the x value small, maybe 100 or 50. Um, paddle y is equal to... So this is half of the height. I wanted to start in the center. So width, I'm just gonna make it, I don't know, 50. Paddle height. So it's probably too thick. Of course you can change these later. So paddle speed, I don't want to restrict the user, so going to make it fairly fast. Of course that didn't do anything since I just initialized it. Alright, so let's actually do something here. So we're going to create a new method called draw paddle. Right? And I'm going to add it right down here. Draw paddle. I'm going to set the fill color of the paddle to white maybe so this is a short form I could have written 255 255 255 but that's the same thing as 255 processing lets us do these shortcuts so I'm going to create the rectangle conveniently paddle, paddle x paddle y paddle width and paddle height if I play that and there's my paddle. It's probably way too far on the right side and I forgot to set the rect mode to center. You want the rectangle to draw from the center. And yeah, so I'm just gonna move this over maybe 10 pixels and that looks pretty good. Great, so we have drawn the paddle. Now let's make it move. In order to make the paddle move we're going to use a function called key pressed. Yes, we're going to use our keys. But we're also going to make a function called key released. Doing it this way might be slightly more complex than we could have done. But you need this if you're adding a second paddle, which we will do later on. So I'm going to add. Right, so for this, I actually need to make Boolean variables. Booleans can o only be true or false. That's it. I'm going to call it up and down. That's it. So if key code, that is, actually, I'm going to use the w key. So if key is equal to w, or that's lowercase w, but we want people to be able to use uppercase w because it'll be frustrating if they have caps on and they don't know why they can't move. Anyways, so if we press this key, then up is true. Copy that. If we press the S key, then down is true. That is, we're going down. Then I'm just going to copy this into key released. So when we release it, I want up to be false and down to be false. And of course, if I play it right now, nothing will happen because all I did was set the variable. But let's actually make the variable do something. So I'm going to create a new function called move paddle and we'll create it move paddle. I think I said function, I meant method. And so if up is true. This is another short form. We could have written this, but you don't need to. 
if up then we want to move the paddle up so paddle y plus equals paddle y plus paddle s and if down then we want to move the paddle y down that is negative paddle s now if I play that that should work that sort of worked it just I just switched around the up and down now it works I'm you holding yep when I let go it stops moving so now we've got a moving paddle the problem is that the ball doesn't bounce against it and it goes over and under the screen so first let's deal with the over and under the screen problem I'm going to call the meth and I'm going to create a new method called restrict paddle okay so void restrict paddle now this is slightly complex so if all right let's think about this for a second I'm just don't copy this I'm just making the balls speed zero so that I can show you the paddle let's pretend that this is the highest the paddle should get so the X and Y is being drawn straight in the center because of rec mode center alright the width is this whole thing the height is this whole thing we want to make sure that the X and Y minus the height over 2 is greater than the top of the screen and you have to remember that this is 0 and this is the value of height so that's 500 so think about this if the y is y minus the height divided by 2 so just half of the height is less than this point which is 0 then we don't want to allow the paddle to continue going up so let's do that you will see this in code if paddle y minus half of the height is less than a zero which is the top then we want paddle y equals then we want to push the paddle down so let's see it now I can't go up anymore this is perfect this is my center this is the point we have chosen after subtraction so after subtraction this is the point we're talking about and if it's less than zero then it'll the paddle will just push up on its own so it's not moving up anymore now we're going to do the exact same thing for the bottom of the screen but of course I just flip around the negative to a positive I make this a greater sign and I change this to height then I make this subtraction and all I did was flip it and it works both ways great so now we've restricted the paddle we've made the paddle now we need to m make the ball bounce off the paddle and this is the most tricky bit and if you don't get it the first time it's alright it's a bit tricky just keep trying play with it a little bit anyways so contact paddle the better names you give, the easier it is to organize your code and reread it. So I recommend giving good names. All right, so there we go. Again, we need to think about this. I'm going to move the ball here just for the sake of demonstration. I don't know what that might be in value. So okay, that's pretty good. So this is again the x value of my paddle this is the width this whole thing the width divided by 2 plus x is right here this point and this is exactly what we're checking now for the ball we're checking this is the x value of the ball this is the width of the ball this is half the width of the ball though x minus the width divided by 2 is this point so we're checking if this point is less than this point if that's the case, then we want speed x to equal negative speed x. 
So if it was going backwards, which is negative, it will go positive and bounce off the paddle. So let's create that. If paddle x plus the paddle width divided by 2 is greater than, actually I'm going to, I'm actually going to talk in terms of the ball, so if the x of the ball plus the width minus the width divided by 2 is less than this, then we want the ball to bounce off. So paddle x equals minus, what am I doing? Speed x equals negative speed x. Okay, I am changing the speed of the ball back to 3 and 3, putting the x back at width divided by 2. So, there we go. It bounces off the x of the paddle. But there's still a problem with this. If I let go, it's still bouncing off that point. So now we need to consider the y value of the paddle and the height of the paddle. So if the ball, all right, I'm, let me make that 80 again. And let me make the speed 0 and 0 again. Let me make the height a little higher, so maybe 50, 80, 50. So the point we're concerned with is this point. So that's y plus height divided by 2. So paddle height divided by 2. We're adding that, and now we're at this point. And the ball, if this point of the ball, that's hard to see. I'll make it. For the ball, the y value minus the ball's height divided by 2. If this is less than that, then we want it to bounce off the pad. That's it. Okay, let's code that. We're just going to add the y bound. So to do that, I wouldn't create a new if statement. It's much better if you just create an and. So and the y, it's basically the same thing except with y and width, I mean height, y and height. So y, height, y, and height, and All right, let's see what happens when it goes below. It Okay, it's glitching, but that's fine. This is not a perfect code. This is a very primitive code. The top is still a problem, of course, since we never addressed that. But I think the bottom is fine now. <laughs> let's pretend it's fine. Fixing those glitches is a bit more complicated, but we'll get into that later. So for the top, again, I'm just inversing all the signs. and So this becomes a greater than, this becomes minus, and let's try it. As you can see, it went perfectly. See now, if the paddle is not there, then it doesn't bounce off, and that's exactly what we wanted. So here we have one fully functioning paddle with some glitches that we will fix in a later video, but next time we will create another paddle. See you all later.